Alright, it took us a few days, but I think we should be getting close to Lupine Moon. Hmm, well that's a relief. I was beginning to wonder how far the land stretched out. There you are, Dracus. Did you see anything? <laughs> hmm, that's what I thought. What did he say? Well, did you notice that ever since we got into the woods, there weren't any animals around here? Hmm, come to think of it. I sent Dracus to do some looking around, because the air didn't smell right either. It didn't smell... natural. <laughs> now that you mention it, you're right. It smells less woodsy and more... arcane. What do you think we should do? It's getting late. Let's find a clearing and set up camp. Oh, come on! I know they were in here somewhere. What you looking for, Dan? Have you seen our rations anywhere? I swear I packed them, but I can't find them anywhere. You mean the little bricks in your bag? I ate them. You... what? Yeah, you didn't pack that much. Looked like half a day's worth. Besides, with the animals we caught before reaching the forest, I thought it wouldn't be too bad if I did. Kaida, those were magically preserved. You just add the black powder and... You just ate a week's worth of food. Wait, you mean that pepper you brought along? Uh-oh. I mean, I feel fine. I think that was just Pepper. Oh! Oh god! Are... are you okay? I'll be right back. I need to go uneat these. Dracus, give me a hand. Well, that could be a problem. I guess it's time to hunt some more food. that smell again. It's stronger than before. Wait a minute. Is that... <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Mm hmm. You wouldn't happen to be Master Horrors, would you? Hmm. It seems my reputation precedes me. But yes, I am him. Although please, just call me Horrors. And who are you? My name is Dan. Dan McNeil. I'm from Astro Winds. McNeil. Hmm. Yes, I believe I know that name from the civil... Uh, never mind. So, what brings you out here? Well, Kaida and I are traveling to Lupin Moon as our new place of residence. I see. But what are you doing out here? Well, if you know me by my formal title, then you know that I was recognized by the council to be that of a master wizard. I was simply coming out here to test my limits. Understandable. Well, I suppose Actually, I can... Actually, I think I know a way we can work something else. What do you mean? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Tell you what, Scout. You give me a good fight, and I'll help you and your caravan get to Lupin Moon safely. Ha! Alright. To fight he wants to fight me what? <laughs> Trying to lose me in the streets, are we? Nice try, but a force bump barrage will take care of that! Damn it! At this rate, the crazy bastard's gonna level the whole forest! Need to make this shot count. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I forget how much these things hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Your swordplay appears to be self-taught, and not half bad besides. Still! Swordplay alone doesn't win you a fight against a man. I don't think so! What? Oh, I see. An adaptive protection from flame school. Clever. I prefer learning on the spot. Makes it easier to find openings. Like this. Alright. Now you're trying my patience. You overlooked one problem with protecting yourself from flame school. And that being that I have to step up to the next level instead. 
Let's see what you've got. All right, that's enough. What the hell? Kind of. Where did you? Ah. I don't believe you two. I leave the camp for a minute, and you leave the camp without telling me. Picked a random fight. Oh, hi, Hars. Uh, and tore half the oh, forest no, no, apart. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ugh, damn it, boy. What the hell is your skull made out of? How is she this strong? Just what were you two fighting about anyway? We were... Uh, um... Well, y you see, I was testing my powers. I uh, might have used Dan to be my practice dummy. <sighs> Come here. Your arm's damaged. <sighs> Much better. Thank you, Kaida. Dan, are you hurt at all? I think I'm fine. So does that mean I win? <laughs> Guess it does. Good. So, if that's all taken care of... Dracus? <laughs> now, we're gonna go back to the camp, and if I catch you two fighting again, Dracus will be eating your food tonight. Got it? I said, got it! And you got yeah, it. Yeah, I fine. understand. Good. Now off to camp. Ugh, oh, cat folk. Tell me about it. Speaking of which, why does she smell all, uh, barfy? I'll tell you when we get to camp. 